Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be auto syncing a voiceover in Pictory. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, for those of you who don't know what Pictory is, Pictory is a good alternative to Vidnami. Now, if you don't know what Vidnami is, it was a video maker where you could add text to the software and it would pump out a really decent video for you. And with Vidnami, you could also auto sync voiceovers as well as use their own auto their own AI voiceovers and things like that. So that's what this can do as well. Since the closure of Vietnami, lots of people have been going out looking for a good alternative for Vietnami. And I do believe that Pictory is perhaps the best. They now are able to upload complete voiceovers, not just for the scene, but for the entire video. Now, I have just recently today done a voiceover for this particular script that I've got and I'm going to go over and put it straight into here so let's see how this is done so what we need to do is go over here to the script to video we need to actually add a script to this part of the video here now what we're going to do is I'm going to use this one right here I'm going to copy that making sure that all of it is copied yes and then we're going to now control V which is pasting it straight there and I'm going to take that up to there now because I already have my script pre-written and pre-read I'm just going to go here I'm going to now proceed now first thing we need to do is choose the size now because we're going to be making this like a YouTube video we're going to be making this into a 16 by 9 so we're going to go there and we're just going to let it do its thing. So for the moment, I'm going to pause the video while we're waiting for this to finish what it's going to do. Okay, now at this particular point, this is where you go through and have a look at the images and see whether or not the audio, or should I say the video text, is going to match the actual video itself. And whether it's going to be any good. So far, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not so sure about that one, but I will have a look at it and okay so I might see change these over here now I'm not going to go into too much detail here about how to do this part because really what we're looking at is how to auto sync your voiceover so we're not going to go too deep into this part of it but right now I'm just going to go clicking on here and I'm going to use this section here where it says visuals and I'm going to go over here so I'm going to type in the word copy and hit enter and see if there's anything I can do here about copy. All right, now I think I'll just do this one here, that'll do. And then we can move on to the next one. And then the next one okay and you can just go scroll through until you've had a look at all the videos and you're absolutely happy with what you're seeing and then once you've done that you can then go ahead and continue with what you've got on so we're going to pause the video while I sort through this now one thing I will say is don't worry about where it says Shutterstock because when we go to do it we go to generate the video you'll notice that it actually says shutterstock watermark will not be present in the final video so we'll just continue on okay now we're back now i've just finished going through all of these videos so now what i'm going to do is now we're going to add the audio so i'm just going to go here now 
I'm going to go and this has already been applied but what I want to do is I want to have a look at the background music so we're going to go to the settings we want to make sure that background music is turned down to around about between 8 and 10 percent so I think probably 8 I think 10% is fine. You go over here to upload a voiceover. So we're going to go here to upload a voiceover. And right now I'm going to grab my voiceover and I'm going to drag it across and pop it right here. We'll be back in a moment. Now all we have to do here is drag it over here and pop it into this section right there. And in just a moment it's going to organize it. And then it's going to ask me to either put it on the scene or whether I'd like it on the entire video. So we're going to be putting it on the entire video. So right here, as you can see, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Now we're going to see here, it says entire video. We click on that and it's now going to auto sync the voiceover and then generate the preview. So we're going to pause the video while it's doing that. Don't fear the pause in public speaking. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how good this is. And I do believe it'll be fairly good for a fair, for a fair part of it. So I'm just going to be putting it on for a moment and we're going to see how it goes. If you listen to experienced speakers, it's easy to see some real differences in how they speak through their presentation compared to maybe how you go about giving a talk when you're called to speak in public. But it's a good experience to use every opportunity to listen to different public speakers and learn from them. From speakers who are not effective, study why they aren't effective and learn how to correct those problems in your presentation. To speakers who are very good, learn what they do that works and copy their methods without shame. So what I notice here is it didn't actually change over. So what we need to do is we need to adjust how to do it. So I'm just going to click on this. And we're going to take this all the way back to the very end of the screen. So we're going to take this all the way back. Now, what we need to do is when we're adjusting this, we want to find the scene where we were at. And I'm pretty sure it was around this scene here. So let's have a listen. Let's have a listen to this one. Now to do this, we click on this. Now I'm going to show you something. Over here, you'll see that there's a little blue line. It's very hard to see under this. Correct those problems in your presentation. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to move this across to here. And as you can see, the purple line is right there. Now, if you're wanting to take this over here, you can then pull this across to that line just there. And then you can hit play. To speakers who are very good, learn what they do that works and copy their methods with. To speakers who are very good, learn what they do that works and copy their methods without shame. Okay, now what I'm going to now do is drag this across just a little bit, click on this one, and as you can see that line just there, I'll circle it using a red circle so you can see where I'm talking. I'm going to grab hold of this scene right here, and I'm going to drag that across to that line, and that is how we line it up. It's a very easy process, and then we now play, press play here. It's all a part of learning from each other. Pause. Now I'm going to now grab this, drag it across. Grab that section just here. As you can see where the purple line is. And there we have it. So I'm going to pause the video while I go ahead and do this. All right, now that I've done that, let's just save it and close it. We're going to just hit save there and waiting for that to finish its saving and now all we have to do is close it off. Now that is ready to preview. Now let's go over here to style. Now we can choose the various styles. We've got different kinds of themes, different kinds of styles and so forth. And but I like the current style it's in. So we're just going to keep it as is. 
Now I can choose to add scene transitions if I wish to, but I'm going to choose not to do that. Okay, so let's now hit preview and we will now generate a video and see what it's like. So I'm going to pause the video until it has done that. All right, so we're about to watch the preview, just not all of it, just some of it. And you'll be able to see how we've been able to get it all synced up together and how good it looks now. So let's now have a quick look at what this looks like. Don't fear the pause in public speaking. If you listen to experienced speakers, it's easy to see some real differences in how they speak through their presentation compared to maybe how you go about giving a talk when you're called to speak in public. But it's a good experience to use every opportunity to listen to different public speakers and learn from them. From speakers who are not effective, study why they aren't effective and learn how to correct those problems in front of us. Okay, so I'm not going to go any further than that. That's um, going on quite a long time there. And um, as you can see, it's now we've now synced it up really nicely. I had to do a little bit, of, quite a bit of manual syncing with this because the way I read it, I just read it straight up without pausing between paragraphs. So I just continue to read as if I was reading it in one flow. However, which did make it a bit more awkward for the AI to pick up on the different things, on the different gaps and so forth. But that being said, I had an entire video produced and ready to go in about 15 minutes in total. And I know from, fa from fact that when I create these videos here, it takes way longer than 15 minutes. And to be perfectly honest, Pictory is awesome. And I have to say, it's, I'm actually impressed with this. Oh, one more thing before we go. Pictory at the moment is still a one-time price up until the end of September. So jump in now before you miss out. Get into Pictory before you run out of time and get the one-time offer. All right, guys, now, by the way, the, the auto-syncing is only for the upgraded version of it. Not the first level, but the second level. But if you can afford the second level, go for it because it's worth every cent. Otherwise, after September, it'll become a monthly amount. You probably don't want to miss out on that. All right, guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and if you like the video, want to consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Pictory. Now, of course, the link for Pictory will be down in the description. And if you want to check it out, it'll be right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.